Hello everyone. Today we will study about the basicity of amines and effect of substituents on basicity of amines. So before we come to know about the basicity of amines, we have to know what is amines. So amines are the typical organic bases which are structurally related to the ammonia. So if we replace one hydrogen or all hydrogen from an, any ammonia molecule, so we'll get the amines. So according to that one we can uh, call one as alkyl amines one is aryl amines so if any aryl group is replacing the hydrogen from the ammonia it will be aryl amine and if an alkyl group is replacing an hydrogen or all hydrogen from the ammonia this will be called as alkyl amine so uh, amines are classified as primary secondary and tertiary amines so if, if you see this one primary amines here from ammonia one hydrogen is replacing by an alkyl group in secondary amine two hydrogen are replacing by the alkyl group in tertiary amine three hydrogen are replacing by three same or different alkyl or aryl groups Okay, so according to the, uh, that one, we can uh, divide amines as primary amines, secondary amines, and tertiary amines. So we know now we know what is amines. Okay, so now we have to know the basicity of amines. <coughs> so for that one, we have to know that the basicity or basic character of amines are due to the presence of an lone pair in the nitrogen okay nitrogen atom of ammonia or amine itself okay so one unshared pair of electron is there in, in the nitrogen and that is responsible for the basic character of the amines or ammonia so first we will see the about the ammonia okay so ammonia when dissolved in water it will abstract a proton from the water and it will form ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion so this is the structure of ammonia we know and this is the lone pair of electron so it will abstract an proton or hydrogen from the water molecule and it will form nh4 positive or ammonium ion and one hydrox hydroxide ion so here you just see basicity what do you mean in basicity when an any compound or any uh, molecule donate electrons to other compound it is called as base so here this one is donating its base to this one and it is getting one negative charge and it is accepting one proton or hydrogen H plus ion and thus it is converting to the ammonium ion so similarly all the three types of amines that is primary amines secondary amines and tertiary amines the react reversibly with water to form the alkyl substitute, substituted ammonium ions just see this one primary amines if it reacts with water and it will form what it will form alkyl ammonium ion and then secondary amine it will dissolve in water and it will form the alkyl ammonium ion likewise the tertiary amines it will form trialkyl ammonium ion okay so we have to know that this unshared pair or lone pair of electron is responsible for the overall basicity that is it will this ammonia or amine will donate this lone pair and it will show its basic character okay so whenever an alkyl amine or amine simple dissolve in water it will form the ammonium ion and hydroxide ion so base dissociation constant will be this one so kb that is base dissociation constant equal to rnh3 positive and oh negative okay so concentration of both the product divided by concentration of reactant and we know the concentration of water here in the solution will be higher so we this one we can keep it uh, keep as constant so ultimately this will be the equation okay 
The difference in the base strength is due to the availability of unshared electron on the nitrogen of amine. So we know that already. The order of base strength is this one. So if you see the basicity, we have to think about the other substituent group. Okay, what is the effect of other substituent group? So in simple alkylamine, what is happening? For example, the ability of any amine to donate the electron is the is the character of a base. Okay, so if you see this one, you just see this structure. Okay, first ammonia and what a primary amine. So we are taking this example. So here, this is the lone pair, and around this one, three hydrogen are there. But here in primary amine, this is the lone pair in the nitrogen. One alkyl group is there and two hydrogen. And we know alkyl group is always the electron releasing group. So it will release some electron towards the nitrogen and it will make the electron of the nitrogen available to share with another acid. Okay. So as the alkyl group is electron releasing group we know. So it will increase base strength. Okay. By increasing electron density in nitrogen atom. So it will donate some electron to the nitrogen and it will ultimately increase the electron density in the nitrogen atom and ultimately it will increase the basic character okay but so for with this concept we can say that the tertiary amine will be the highest having the highest basic character than the secondary amine than the primary amine because if three group alkyl group are there and three is having all the three are el electron releasing group so it will ultimately what it will do it will increase the electron density in nitrogen so ultimately basic character will increase but what is happening in tertiary amine the steric effect the steric effect is overcoming the electronic effect of the overall compound so elect by electronic effect if we just consider the electronic effect we can say that the tertiary amine is the most basic but due to the overcoming of steric uh, overcoming of electronic acid by steric effect we can say, say that the secondary amine is the most basic but the tertiary amine is least basic than the secondary okay so we have to know that thus having less basic strength than secondary strength but from our concept if it is r is electron releasing so 3 r is donating electron or releasing electrons towards nitrogen so it will ultimately here there will be a use or increased density of electron so ultimately basic character will increase but it is not happening due to because see this R, 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 R present in the close proximity so there will be a steric hindrance okay or steric effect so due to that one the basicity of this one is decreasing okay so just remember this one so next we have uh, just seen that how alkyl amines okay how alkyl amines basicity is governed and what are the factors affecting or effect of substituent okay so we have now we have to know about the basicity of aromatic amines so aromatic amines what is aromatic amines so prototype you know that is one from ammonia one hydrogen is replaced by, it by an aryl group so this is phenyl group so this is the structure we know what's aniline okay so just remember aromatic amines are weaker bases than ammonia by comparing structure ammonia and ammonium are each represented by single structure so this is ammonia and ammonium ion so we can represent these two by a single structure but in case of aniline aniline and aluminium ion are hybrids of calculus structures 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 this provides some stability okay so you just remember aniline so by calculus structure we can show these two structure that is if the 
double bond present here in one structure in the next structure double bond will be placed here okay just see here the double here here this position double bond but in this structure the next position that is this position double bond is coming so likewise any anilinium ion also showing same okay by kekule structure so if there are no factor involved then basicity if there are no factor involved then basicity of aniline is equal to the basicity of ammonia okay so if there is no factor we can just consider that basicity of aniline is basicity of ammonia but it is not happening <laughs> so your nh2 group within the uh, when it is attached to the benzene ring it will act as an activating effect then that it is what is activating effect that it is donating it is donating its electrons towards the ring okay so that reaction is called as electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction okay that govern the factors in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction so aniline is not only hybrid of 1 2 but also 5 6 and 7 so we cannot draw comparable structure for aniline anilinium ion okay so aniline is not the hybrid of only these two structure this this is the hybrid of all the this three also structure okay so what happening here the nitrogen is donating its lone pair of electrons towards ring okay so this is the feature of an activating group so nh2 is activating group we know it can donate electrons to a benzene ring so annually so fourth electron pairs partly shared with ring and thus less available for sharing with hydrogen ion so just consider this is our just consider this structure this is our benzene ring and this is nh2 group so one unshared pair of electron is there so if we if if this nitrogen just directly donate this unshared pair of electron that is it is basic but here it is happening instead of easily donating to any acid it is what it is doing it is sharing its electrons towards the ring and ultimately it is decreasing the basicity of the compound or this aniline or aromatic amines okay so fourth electron pair is partly shared with ring and thus less available for sharing with hydrogen ion makes ring more reactive towards electrophilic aromatic substitution and thus it will becoming less why it is making it le less because the earlier the unshared pair is directly donated to the acids but due to the presence of benzene ring what, it, what is happening the nitrogen in is sharing its fourth pair or this lone pair towards the ring and ultimately it is making it less available for sharing with an acid thus it is making it less basic okay so you just remember this one then effect of substituents so we know if any electron releasing substituents like ch3 is present okay in the ring that is in aromatic amines it will increase the basicity of aniline okay and an electron withdrawing substituent like halogen or no2 it will decrease the basicity so electron release tends to disperse the positive charge of the anilinium ion and stabilize the ion relative to amine so this is the just see the case if any electron re releasing group is there it will donate its charge towards the anilinium ion that is positive so it will ultimately stabilize the ion relative to an amine okay and thus it will increase the basicity but what is happening in electron withdrawing group electron withdrawal tends to intensify the positive charge because if already the anilinium ion is positive charge and if it if 
electron withdrawal group is withdrawing the withdrawing the electron from the ring so ultimately it will intensify the positive charge within the anilinium ion and it will destabilize the ion related to the ion so it will decrease the basicity and you just remember one thing then electron releasing when it is present at the ortho position what it will do it will weaken the basicity of aromatic amines so we know electron releasing group if present but it will increase the basicity but if it is present at the ortho position in in respect to the nh2 group or amino amine group it will what it will do it will weakens the basicity of aromatic amines okay so you just see this one g that is your electron re releasing group if it is it will stabilize the cation and it will increase the basicity so what is g electron releasing group nh2 och3 then ch3 but if the g is electron withdrawal group what it will do it will destabilize the cation and it will ultimately decrease the basicity so what are the uh, electron withdrawing group nh3 positive no2 so3 negative then c double bond oh then your halogen group okay so i hope you have understood what is amines what is the basicity of amines what are, what is the effect of substituent in alkyl amines and aromatic amines okay so thank you